Okay, today what we're gonna start doing is after you have everything outlined, you're gonna start filling in all of your negative spaces with designs and patterns. So a pattern is something that repeats over and over again. So it could be the same one thing repeating over and over again, or it can be two or three things that keep on repeating. So I'm gonna show you an example of what this is gonna look like when you're all finished. So, this is one that somebody else did. And you can see in all the different spaces, some examples of designs. Like here I've got blue and teal diagonal lines, purple and white lines. This looks kind of like clouds with a purple background fish scales, little stars, swirls, more clouds with a different color behind them, zigzag lines. Now I have blue swirls, so the same pattern as over here, just a different color, and more stripes. So this one kind of looks like plaid in the middle, crisscross lines. So. I want you to try to get creative and think of some of your own patterns and designs that you can use to fill up the negative spaces. Now remember how we talked about each one of these being like a pool? Each one of those spaces is going to get their own design. You're going to get the fine tipped markers. You can share one box with your partner and please take care of them and make sure you have all of them when you're done. There should be eight in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So when you put them away, there should be eight again. Now you may use rulers too, because if you do want to do some straight lines, that will help. But I'm going to start off by picking a space and I'm just going to start simple with polka dots. So I'm going to fill this whole space with the same design. Now, where the positive space is in the way, I have to kind of imagine my pattern going behind here. So there would be a dot here, 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 but we can't see it. There would be one here, here, here. Maybe I see part of it. And maybe just to make this a little more interesting, I'll add another color. I'm just going to do little orange dots, teenier, smaller little dots all around. Okay. Another easy one is going to be to do stripes. So you can think of maybe one color or two colors you want to do. I'm going to not use my ruler for this because it's a small space. And then in between, I'm going to do a blue line next to the green line. I'm going to do a yellow dotted line. Okay, so that is a pattern because it repeats over and over again. Okay, that is one small negative space. So some of your spaces are going to be big and some of them are going to be small. 
Um, I kind of like that swirly design that my friend did. So this is called repetition. It just repeats over and over again. I think in this space, I'm just gonna do one thing over and over again. If you run out of ideas, one thing I do to help me figure out a pattern is think of some of my clothes in my closet and what kind of design or pattern is on them. So a lot of times we see plaid and stripes and there's a lot of crazy cool patterns out there with all the cute little leggings all the girls wear and stuff like that. So think of some of those. But today I'm not gonna do too many demos because I wanna see your what you can come up with on your own. So try to get maybe, I'd say have a goal of getting maybe five spaces done today. Uh, four to five spaces would be good. We don't want to get too many because if we get more than that, that means we're going too fast um, and we're rushing through because these need to be planned out and thought out. Okay.